Got a little warm and wheel up. It's good to see your peaceful face. Thank you so much. Great to see your peaceful face. Look at the back of my head. Are you ready? Can you see it? Uh, it's uh, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Peace and love. Yeah, I get it. No, on my cheeks. I, I can't see it, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's starting to grow in a little. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for um, uh, doing the invite with the link and helping us with your ongoing advice around Peace Day. And we're excited that it looks like Bisbee Vogue might be open to uh, giving us um, money, especially the uh, money that uh, Adam wasn't expecting to have put skin in the game. He clicked the one year membership as opposed to the monthly membership. <laughs> So, all good, right? I've done that once or twice myself. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when I was driving home, I got a call from the exact group I've been hopeful to be in connection with, and that's the um, uh, Peace Action Group for Rotary. And that they said they would be calling again tomorrow. And so, um, Rotary has over two million email addresses in their. Uh, international email database um, and uh, they also are the group that spend money investing on Peace Day advertising. Um, Wonderful. Yep. I, uh, I hope that uh, they uh, follow through with that. It's a right. good thing. Exactly. I'm hopeful that um, that uh, Chuck Pennington is one of our, our key players presently because he can make the uh, make the magic with the web and do all the corrections that we might need and grateful for the good energies that he brings us in coordination with Joe Vitale. I'm just gonna message him through Facebook. Um, Adam said he's definitely gonna be in and um, we'll see. I'm gonna just Jonathan and Chuck. David registered with PR Log this morning for uploading the proof. There we go. Here comes somebody. Or was that your doorbell? No, no, I believe it's. Zero Limits is here. Zero Limits. That must be Chuck Pennington. Peace, brother. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Thank what? you. I know that Adam is going to be here, but uh, um, as opposed to waiting for him, since we're going to videotape this and we can have a replay, uh, Warren, are we already videotaping this? We are. Fantastic. I'm going to uh, I'm going to start. Or would you like to uh, welcome us in, or should I do a welcome and an introduction? It's all on you. Okay, I will do an introduction and um, uh, and jump straight into things. I will um, be going through, I put up an agenda in the Facebook group page, a, a one pager included in an email, and that will largely be our structure. Uh, as an FYI, the two uh, press releases that had been on an email, uh, David is now uploading through PR log. Um, but let me do a, a formal start point and um, um, so do you, can we start with the, the video on me and, and um, or do I just talk and it could, is it on me uh, for what would be recorded? It's got both or it's primarily on Warren right now on the big screen. I don't know what you're getting there. I'm, I see 
a gallery of the available people and uh, you. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll imagine we're large. <laughs> Great. Hey, hello, Peace Advocates. This is Ben Mack, and we're excited. We are less than two weeks away from Peace Day. Welcome to our status, September 10th, 2019, for Peace Day. Dot us 19 and peace day dot us 2020 what excites me about including 2020 in our plans is that we're encouraging 2020 vision we're encouraging people to see a beautiful more peaceful future in 2020 and we're asking people what they're willing to do to foster peace with nature by peace day 2020 my name is ben mack i'm sitting next to david russell in the bisbee tourism center we're joined by Warren Whitlock in Las Vegas and Chuck Pennington in the town in Georgia, Wimberley, Georgia. Is that Texas. correct, Chuck? Texas, Wimberley, Texas. Wimberley, Texas. <laughs> All good. And while many people are doing flex time involved with us, they can watch this video later for the, the replay. Um, we've been talking about Peace Day in terms of acting local and thinking global. And so we've got two things going on. We've got PeaceDay.us, which is international, but it ends in .us, so it has a focus of the United States. There's also the work that I've been doing here in Bisbee that helps support PeaceDay.us as we make it larger and more effective in our ability to raise awareness of September 21st as Peace Day and encourage people to take action. The United Nations announced the theme for the 2019 uh, Peace Day is Climate Action for Peace. And that well fits with the theme that we've had of fostering peace with nature. In 2014, the students at University of North Carolina Asheville identified three faces of peace that I still love celebrating. Inner peace, peace between people, and peace with nature. This year with the theme with the United Nations, we're focusing on fostering peace with nature. A little bit of, of a, a research trivia point out there is that while we've got a lot of conservative allies helping us with Peace Day, they brought up that it's easier for them to bring the idea of fostering peace with nature to their churches than anything with the word climate in it. Some of our constituents were saying that they really prefer the exclusive use of fostering peace with nature and would prefer that we avoid the word climate in any of our communications. Along these lines of PeaceDay.us, we got some notes from Chad, who is the president of the Rotary International Club in Pantano, Arizona. And he was concerned that our first draft or where we've been on our PeaceDay.us was too focused on social media and might alienate the Rotarians who aren't active on social media. Addressing that, the first email that they get when they opt into our email talks about how you don't need to be on social media. But I'd also like to one-up it as we prepare to be able to collaborate with the Rot Rotary Peace Action Group out of Oregon, who called me yesterday and said that we're likely to speak tomorrow but we'd love to collaborate with them and make this as effective as possible. Adam was saying that he was surprised or slightly confused because we didn't ask people specifically for their peace pledge, the pledge that they're doing to foster peace with nature. And so uh, Chuck, I'm grateful that you're on the phone, on the Zoom with us presently. I want to discuss with you and Warren and David, and I, I imagine that Adam is going to join us as soon as we can, but our thank you page, our second page on the landing page after people give us their, their name and email, as opposed to it saying, hey, click this button to join our Facebook group, what I was thinking that we might want to do is have a field there that will connect into AWeber where we could save, I hope, we, a field we can save what they input as their peace pledge. But perhaps there we have a, a, a form where we ask people what, you know, for their pledge. And then underneath the form have one or two buttons. One button that says save for later in case they, they don't want to say that they're finished. And a, a second button that says not now. 
so that it makes it so that if they don't want, if they're not ready to make a pledge, that, that they can do it at a later date. If somebody clicks on either the save for later, uh, when they click on the save for later, it goes a page that invites them to follow us on social media. And if they click on the not now, I'm gonna suggest that it goes to the Boys and Girls Club, uh, a donation now page to foster a kid to plant a tree. We've been talking about the idea of if you want to just spend five bucks, donate five bucks and, and sponsor a Boys and Girls Club kid to plant a tree that they can do that. Um, perhaps it have one of those things where it, it says, you know, it comes up and, and how many trees would you like to spot or what, you know, it, it, we could ask for 25 for five trees, allow them to choose um, so that we're asking for a dollar amount bigger than the five. Um, I've been uh, challenging in, in bridging and getting the final okay on how that money will be split up. The intention is that that money is, or what I've talked with people about, is that that money is going to go directly to Boys and Girls Club Bisbee. And the current plan is that, um, that whatever money that they get in, half goes to Boys and Girls Club Bisbee and half goes to Club Zona that's over in Phoenix. If somehow, if we fall out of relation or if it makes different sense to different people, perhaps 50% goes to Boys and Girls Club Bisbee and 50% goes to Boys and Girls Club National. But it's back with that notion of us having the theme of think local, act global. So we're doing something that's also outside of ourselves. So the notion about changing page two, uh, Telman Knudsen loved the way that, that we were avoiding resistance by having things. But does this, I'll ask both Warren and, and Chuck, um, Warren, do you like that switch to page two? Sounds fine. Okay. Chuck, how does that sound to you? Yeah, I like it. You could either use uh, AWeber as the uh, data collection and just sort of have it act as uh, you know a form, just a data form, and it really doesn't do anything except collect the data. Or you could do it out of like Jot form or something like that, form filler software, either way. So. Awesome. Let's you and I uh, connect on that technicality. I'm glad that you know how it can get done. Yeah, <laughs> a bunch of different ways to skin that cat. It's all easy. And for the donation, you can just use like a PayPal yeah. donate button. And that way, that's, that's quick, easy, free. Awesome. And I just want to say what a joy it is to be working with Warren and Chuck again. David, I worked with both Warren Whitlock and Chuck in 2009 with um, Albany State University in South Georgia on what we call Good Energy Day. And Good Energy Day was an idea that was inspired by Rich Wakefield. And Rich was the one who made the animation at the front of the two minute video. Okay. So these are long-term partners that will come back together. Right, right, right. And, um, uh, and Rich's dad, I mentioned because of your background in Army, is retired three-star General Wakefield. Um, and I'm seeing my mom on Friday at a place called the Citadel. So it feels like it's all coming around. Full circle. <laughs> Full circle. So looking at, um, looking at my agenda, I've talked about the, the right side where it says think global in the pstate.us. We've been talking about the framing and we've added by 2020. Now the by 2020 is, a, is um, um, something we haven't fully put on the page, and I don't know to what extent we're gonna fully put it on the page. The only difference that we're doing now is simply asking people to make their pledge of something that they're willing to do by Peace Day 2020. I like the, it came to me as a great relief because for a while we were talking about trying to get a million pledges by Peace Day 2019. And I hold the space that that can magically happen. With the, the, with the Rotarian Action Peace Group, and they've got literally hundreds of thousands of, of emails in the United States. I don't know if they're going to email for us, but they said they're going to champion us. They spent money on advertising awareness of Peace Day on social media last year. And tomorrow I'm hopeful to collaborate with them, or maybe they're calling Adam, but we'll figure all of that stuff out. There was an idea that I had for when looking at our landing page at peacedate.us, we have the Million Peace Pledge Challenge with the kid logo there. 
and um, there is a way that we might want to add by 2020 on that. And there might be a way of, there's this thing about 2020 vision and 2020 is an iconic year. And uh, one, um, one visual that we had used in some stuff in the past was a pair of glasses that had geodesic in them. So it was like Buckminster Fuller. And the idea of 2020 vision was fostering peace with nature. So in the short term, we've got visuals that are good enough, is my take. And um, I sent an email to Rich asking if he might give us a different, um, uh, help us with a logo that includes the 2020 vision on it. The other thing is um, I'm concerned about the real estate and the way that it's at peacestay.us. We've got this million peace pledge challenge, but we don't ask the question. And I'm thinking that we're going to want to put on the page the one question that we ask, which is how, um, how will you foster uh, peace with nature by uh, by Peace Day 2020. So I'll talk with David, who is a designer as well, and we'll look at the page when we're done with the status update. But I'm thinking that we want to move that question towards the top of our PeaceDay.us page. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 absolutely. Cool. Top of all, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, looking at this, what we've got going on around Bisbee, and part of what we're doing this year is for people to be able to visually see it so that they might replicate it in other cities. Um, I, know that, uh, I, I know that Adam inadvertently checked the wrong box on something and paid for landing pages for a year as opposed to just a month at a time and suddenly he has $400 out of his pocket invested in this project that he wasn't expecting to have. We're looking at finding sponsors. Um, David Parker, a local ally, is talking with Cynthia Conroy with uh, um, Bisbee Vogue and asking them if, if, uh, if we can have some money to cover the expenses and a couple other things of what Adam put out of pocket that he wasn't expecting to. Overall, things feel like they're going in great places. The Bisbee Boys and Girls Club is creating 24 art boxes. And these art boxes will be put around town and David Russell is designing a, uh, like a postcard size for somebody to make a pledge in, in person. Uh, Lisa Ellis at Club Zona, the Boys and Girls Club of East Valley, Phoenix, was talking about having those boxes in, in the Boys and Girls Club uh, uh, across um, across Scottsdale, and it makes sense for Bisbee Vogue because they're seeking to attract tourists to Bisbee that usually come from Phoenix and Tucson. And as we do this project that we're looking at what we're doing now, being able to live through Peace Day 2020. Cool. In the process of having something live past Peace Day 2020, we might come up with a bigger, better prize than a big Berkey. We are thinking about what we're doing here physically in Bisbee on the 21st. And across Bisbee, we're going to have things before the 21st. David Russell has sponsored a street cleanup across the streets of old Bisbee. And so on this Tuesday, the 17th, like what's in the video, he, he's got supplies and snacks. We're coming out. And that's in preparation for Peace Day. But we're hopeful that David and perhaps Cynthia Conroy will make a challenge video because Adam's idea of a social media challenge, often it's a short little 20 second thing saying, we're cleaning the streets of Bisbee. I challenge you to clean the streets in your community. That kind of stuff. On Saturday the 21st, we're going to have, uh, well, in the early morning, the Bisbee hookers, crocheters, they're doing a yarn bombing of the grassy park. And they've logged over 2,500 hours of crocheting for their Peace Day exhibit that they're going to be putting up at sunrise. Looking for peace. <laughs> Looking for peace. Along these lines, I have yet to hear back from Doug Stanhope about leveraging his celebrity, because last year we were able to say drinking for peace with Doug Stanhope. And um, he's going to be traveling. We asked him if he might zoom in to do a shot with us. 
haven't heard back, I'm guessing that's a no-go, but it could still happen. I happen to think whatever people are doing with the intention of peace is a beautiful thing. But on Peace Day itself here at noon at the farmer's market, the kids from Boys and Girls Club are going to do a sing-along and ring bells because the Peace Bell, the International Peace Bell is a big deal. And it's a Saturday and the United Nations is closed on Saturday. So it looks like they're not going to be ringing the Peace Bell. So having citizens ring the Peace Bell is a citizen call for peace. Right on. Um, the, uh, um, at noon of the farmer's market, uh, at Chuckleheads at 8 p.m., we are going to have a, um, uh, a fundraiser of I Galloping for Peace and stand-up comedy around peace. Um, we also have in town, uh, we're going to have free samples of Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. It's going to be given away at Poco Market all day. And a beautiful thing with Meridian Books and Comics, they're offering free, free use science fiction books and books on magic and mentalism for any teenager that's willing to make a peace pledge. So they make a peace pledge and they get a free book on uh, science fiction, magic, or mentalism. Um, and so those are, the, those are the primary things. We're going to have more things that people are going to be planning for Peace Day here. And I have talked almost nonstop, so now this is the Q&A part. <laughs> Love it, man. I haven't had a, a good Ben soliloquy in a long time. <laughs> 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 They're always good. Oh, man. Uh, man, I love it. I love the, the word, uh, you know, the, the concept of harmony with nature as being the riding in, uh, the train it all rides in. Uh, I think that definitely has the lack of connotation that climate change and global warming and all that has. Uh, you can almost couch it in camping rules. You know, everybody loves camping. Leave the place better than you found it. Right. How much harder does it need to be? You know, we're camping here on planet Earth. Just let leave the place nice where you found it. Don't poop where you eat. Right. <laughs> Just treat it right. Make it better than you left it, you know, or better than you found it. So, yeah. I love the idea of that and the planting trees, you know, with the Amazon going up and all these places, you know, people are reforesting uh, places. There was these people that dumped a big load of oranges, like, 20 acres worth of orange scraps and then the thing got canceled the project and they went back like 10 years later and the whole thing was just forest animals thriving wow nature, where it was just like a dead deforested swath of land before huh. you know i love the the you know planting trees in a peace sign or planting the trees in 2020 where you can or stuff, you know all that's really cool stuff so I love that. In terms of 2020, I have an idea, and um, um, Warren Whitlock and I have often talked about wanting to be part of breaking a world record. Right on. And one of the things that I've seen on around Peace Day, especially communities when Peace Day falls on a weekend, is about potlucks. Right. And in the Guinness Book of World Records, the biggest potluck that's been recorded is under 2,000 people. Well, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, but that potlucking is something I'm thinking about for Peace Day 2020. And yeah. um, well, in Colorado, you can have potlucking. <laughs> <laughs> Warren Whitlock, questions or comments? No, oh, I'm quite pleased with everything that I've heard. And Very I wish to support you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm grateful because David has started uploading the press releases to PR Log, and we were wondering if there was a better press release distribution service that we might want to use, or is that as good as any that are free, or is there a paid one that you already subscribe to that we could hop on or maybe back? Right. Or the the payment per release and they range quite a bit above the budget we have. Okay. <laughs> good to know where we're at. <laughs> Very good. And um, so many times in the past I've masterminded with, with Warren. David and I are now in a weekly mastermind. 
and we do the Carnegie Mastermind, but um, we often, uh, part of that is choosing a SMART goal of something that we're gonna do for, for Peace Day. And as other people, part of our team listen to this, perhaps they'll put a comment as to what they're doing for, for expressly for Peace Day. Um, for, for me, my, my next challenge is gonna be to, to I'm gonna make a SMART goal for myself that, um, that I'm gonna create a one-page document uh, solidifying the changes that we talked about earlier for Peace Day and interconnect with Chuck on how to make that happen. So that's gonna be my SMART goal. David, are you open to choosing a SMART goal for yourself as it relates to Peace Day? Um, I do actually. So along with ensuring that everything gets up to the PR channel that we're working on currently, I'm gonna branch out and work with some of our collaborators throughout Cochise County in Southern Arizona to make sure this gets uploaded to their system as well. Uh, and then they can kind of branch and put out the message uh, from their distribution channels. Awesome. Warren, is there something that came to mind that you're open to, uh, to doing for, for Peace Day? Yes, I'm pledging to uh, um, make sure that uh, I respond with love to all the uh, tidings of peace I find through social media. Yay, thank you. Nice. Along the lines with you've got the image of Smokey Bear, and it was recently his 50th birthday. Oh, I didn't know. And I learned that I have been calling Smokey by the wrong name my entire life. The official name for Smokey Bear is Smokey Bear. Smokey has no middle initial middle name okay, of the. Uh, okay. There's no. It's just Smokey okay. Bear. <laughs> Random trivia. <Yeah. laughs> and Chuck, are Holy you smoke? <laughs> We're tight right. like that. Right there on his hat, Smokey. <laughs> right? <laughs> no the, just Smokey. Yeah, hat doesn't have the on it. See, now uh, he's just like a big Care Bear that it likes. Right. <laughs> <You are wrong. laughs> Smokey Bear. <laughs> right. right. Uh, well, my SMART goal is going to dovetail with uh, Dr. Ben Mack's SMART goal in that I am going to absolutely support Dr. Mack and whatever I can do to help get that second page optimal and to the goal of providing peace Thank and you. harmony with nature. Yay. As we can. One thing before I let you guys go is I toy with the notion of trying to interconnect locations on Peace Day itself. Like in the past, we've used Google Hangouts. Now we're using Zoom as this technology. And um, the if I had... I have a dream of like what might happen on Peace Day, especially Peace Day 2019, which comes on a Saturday. And so many college and university campuses have, and churches that have teen activity groups do things on Saturday. And if my dream is that at, for instance, University of Arizona, um, where the Rotaracts that have a club there, or ASU, I think, is where the Rotaracts have a club. Uh, the, and at Arizona State University, they have a change ma Changemaker Central Room. And if they had kids line up there and do some sort of stream of their pledge with nature, you know, and inspire people on different campuses and, like, say, and so – Sometimes I've, I've, I've dreamed of having a 20 minute or less Zoom program that just shows what different people are doing. Like going to the, if we could get ASU to do it, you would have like three people from ASU doing those things. Yeah, with think, Zoom, you can go live to your Facebook page so you could just do a big Zoom webinar. Um, you can have like 100 seats, I think, is the smallest group, and then 500 is the next bump up. But all you need it for is that little one bump, unless you're, you know, got some recurring revenue to do. But right for a one-off Peace Day thing, you know, that's 150 bucks to do 500 users. Okay. And do a live, and then you've got to send, send that live link out everywhere, and whoever gets it, gets it. And you got 500 people chiming in with their thing. I mean, it's like a, that might be cool. So would that require a mediator to kind of uh, filter through and actually treat the 
the video itself, seeing that it would be streamed from multiple locations? No, you would have a big Zoom webinar and you would just allow, instead of having there just be like two presenters, you would allow people to chime in. So the presenter could sit there and just randomly pick people that wanted to give their peace pledge, you know, so it wouldn't have to, I mean, and it would show up kind of like how we're seeing the four uh, squares here with each of us in it. You would have the ability to have like a chat window with everybody that's raised their hand and you just sit there in order as they raise their hand and say, go live, go live, go live, go live. And then they come in just like we are, uh, you know, whoever's got the mic and is speaking gets that big window and then it's just a live stream. And just like now, it's going to record everything that we just did. So then whatever happened on that live would be recorded. And then you could do watch parties and stuff after you put the, put the thing up in the group or on the page. Then you just start watch parties occasionally. And uh, that sounds great. I'm gonna, we're going to keep circling around. Chuck, as you and I work, we'll tr see if we can't turn it into a one pager. And, get Warren's input and see what he thinks is most likely to go viral. Glad that Adam joined. Thank you, Adam. You're there. Is that Adam yeah. joined? Adam, can you hear me? We can hear you. We can't see you. It says Adam, but we can hear you. <laughs> OK, uh, give me one second. Sorry, I'm just getting used to the app here. Understood. We're wrapping things up. There will be a replay of this that we can show you, or maybe when we're done, Adam, you can give me a call and I can catch you up on, on what we on what we covered in the meeting. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, but we're excited for how things are coming apart, coming apart, coming together. <laughs> Great. And uh, we've got people looking to make you whole. Um, you're having uh, spent more money out of pocket than you were anticipating to loan to the project. <laughs> well, I mean, lead pages, you got to be able to say, hey, I made a mistake, put me on the monthly deal. and, and <laughs> don't, don't tell him that now. I like how committed he is when he's got four Oh, he's got skin in the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, took the, I took the meat off the hook. I'm sorry. None of this from my head. That was a great idea, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I ended up picking – Picking that option because it was cheaper uh, per month, but uh, I didn't think that they were going to bill right away. But that's fine. We'll yeah. figure it out. We'll make it all work. We'll yeah. real. We're just wrapping this up, and I want to keep it short for the other partners that moat. But um, Adam, the big thing is that we're hopeful to continue the conversation with the Rotary uh, Peace Action Group in Oregon tomorrow. Okay. And with in when we hop off the phone, I'll, I'll get you on the thing, but. Warren and uh, Chuck and David and I like the proposed changes that were the agenda that really most solidly affect Chad's concerns and has the thank you page where the, on the second page the person puts in their pledge. Okay. I, you were wanting that. So I want to thank each of you. Warren Whitlock, it's been an honor and I, I tout, I sell your strategy on how you engineered hashtag Peace Day going, trending going viral on Peace Day 2013. And I know that our minds and our energies and the, 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 the harmony that we're co-creating, the biggest thing is, is figuring out ways that inspire people to, to make the most of Peace Day. Um, in a text I, I, I had sent to you, Adam, I, I asked about perhaps having the place where we might have the biggest audience of hopefully students, but it could be any audience on Saturday Peace Day. Um, and um, I believe that there is a Rotaract club that's both connected with Arizona State University and the University of Arizona. I don't know if either of them are planning on having a group of, of students there. We were talking about having the Saturday be a launch party, but launch party doesn't feel quite right to me. But if we have a peace pledge party, and people standing up and saying what their pledges are, that can be exciting. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely like that idea. I know that there's a uh, Rotaract Club uh, at the U of A and uh, a college one at, the, at ASU as well. Um, I've been trying to get in contact with our uh, DRR, which is the liaison between the different Rotaract Clubs. She hasn't gotten back to me yet. I gave her that proposal that I sent you a draft of, and I haven't heard anything yet, so I'm gonna reach back out, because she'd be the one to, to, to make it happen. 
Um, so uh, hopefully we can, you know, get something together there. Beautiful. Warren Whitlock, thank you so much for hosting this Zoom. Adam, I imagine when we sign off here, you'd be able to give me a call. So you can touch base on the details. Very good. Chuck Bennington, you're such a blessing to have um, on this project for so many reasons and good energy to be playing together again with you and Warren Whitlock on a good energy project. And to David Russell, who here in Bisbee has been the anchor of Peace Day and the street cleanup and the challenges that we're getting out there. I want to thank each of you. Of all the things on this planet, time is one thing that we all share in exact equal amounts. I'm grateful for us sharing this time together and collaborating. Thank you all. Thank you all. Peace out.